Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and we've got some really cool news today because the Randomix development is coming to a bit of a conclusion, which is really awesome to see. So, what I'm going to show you today is a little bit nerdy, but hopefully I'm going to explain it to you in a way that will make a lot of sense and give you a bit of an idea of where we are at with the progress for the Randomix implementation. So, we've got our current Digibyte blockchain, the network and everything at the moment. Now, as far as everybody is concerned on that network, Randomx is not a valid way for you to hash the the blocks and things. So what we're doing is we are taking the existing code and alongside with us upgrading it, we're also taking Randomx and adding it in so that eventually, once enough people have signaled and, and decided that it is going to be valid in the future, we will be able to start mining blocks with Randomx on your home computer, on your home laptop, and that kind of thing. So, where are we at at the moment with this? Well, what I've got in front of me is a new testnet. Now, the idea with a testnet is that it is basically worthless. So, anything that is mined on there, the Digibytes themselves don't have any inherent value whatsoever. They are free to mine, and you can see here what I've done is I've been mining a few things here, uh, to a testnet address. Now the way that this works is on the testnet you can basically just say I want to make some blocks and it's pretty straightforward really you just you run the command that you can see here so if I wanted to for example I'm going to make a SHA-256 block and what I'll do is I'll make I'll make two of them. I can run that command and there's two blocks generated basically instantly and there was no real like mining as such needed. So that's why on the testnet the Digibyte are worthless because I've just generated myself two blocks. And what I really want to show you here on this, this new testnet that we are doing is a few other things. So I mean we can do this as well. We'll do we'll do the Quibit algorithm. We can also do it with Skeen. We can do it with Otocrypt. But this is where it gets really cool because I can type random X in and it's going to take a little bit longer to generate those couple of blocks and you can see on the left hand side there it was having a really good go at trying it. Now we can see here there's a bunch of different attempts at these blocks and things. Now what we've just seen is two blocks on this testnet generated for random X. So we're making really good progress. The, the code is mostly done at this point mostly done. There's still a couple of little things that we're going to be fine-tuning. Now, this doesn't mean that as of tomorrow, for example, it's going to be up and we're going to be spreading it around and, and getting people to upgrade. Rather, we want to include a few other things alongside this upgrade as well. So what we're doing as part of it is we're actually skipping uh, Bitcoin Core 0 0.18, 0 0.19, and we're now going straight to 0 0.20 because 20 comes after 19. Uh, so we're going to be releasing eventually Digibyte Core 8.20, which is going to be really cool because we're going to get a few other benefits, a few other improvements and things as well. Uh, but one of the, the most requested things is going to be Schnorr signatures and Taproot as well, alongside RandomX. Let's just do that again just because it's I really like seeing it happening. So. <laughs> So where are we at now in terms of getting things going? Well, what we're going to do is we're basically going to completely reset the, the test net and do a bit of a test upgrade and make sure that that all works. In addition, we're still fine tuning a few other bits and pieces with the 8.20 release. And lastly, we are still working on the kind of the mining pool middle layer, if you will. Now, this middle layer is basically going to allow anybody to go and grab the existing software that's out there and fire it up on their computer. So if you've already got XMRig because you've been mining yourself some Monero on your computer, then cool. There is no difference whatsoever when you swap over and start mining Digibyte. Now, that's really quite important because that's again going to lower the barrier to entry. And I think what I might do is make a bit of a video about that tomorrow and just show people how how really quick and simple it is to get going with that kind of thing and and how quickly people are going to be able to start mining Digibyte on their home computer. Yeah, let's do that once more just because I'm having fun with it. 
So I think that's that's really quite important for people to see and to, to understand just that simplicity that we are going for, why this kind of middle layer that's going to sit on the mining pool side is going to be important as well. And hopefully you've appreciated this update to kind of give you a bit of a, a broader perspective about where we are at the moment with the development here. So that's really quite exciting. Uh, one more thing as well, so prog power at the moment, uh, with a little bit of luck, we'll also be including that in 8.20. Uh, we're basically still at the point where it is mostly done, but talking with Christy Lee, she's been having some troubles with getting the hashes to match what the pool would expect. Uh, so this is something that our random X developer is going to be helping with, and hopefully we'll be able to get that over the line as well really soon and I'll have a lot more exciting news to talk with you about. So that's going to be all from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the random X block generation on our test net here. I'm super excited in case you can't tell. Consider leaving a like, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below if you do have any questions or you can reach me on Twitter. I'm at DGB underscore chilling. Otherwise I'll talk to you in the next video and I'll see you tomorrow so we can talk about how easy it is to get started mining. Cheers.